All right, let's talk some USB. So the first thing I want to say is USB really seems to work almost every time. The vast majority of the times I've ever used USB for anything, it just works fine and I never have to troubleshoot it at all. So first I'm going to just, I'll, I'll talk about some of the basic things I would normally do to troubleshoot USB when it has nothing to do with a, with a virtual machine because those are still still valid. Check to make sure that it's plugged in, again. Check to make sure that if there's a light it's on or blinking or whatever you'd expect. If it's not lit up then it may be broken or maybe you have a bad USB port or it may be plugged into a port that doesn't supply enough power if you have it on a hub. It always makes things a little bit easier for troubleshooting purposes if you're not using a hub if you just plug it directly into whatever computer you're using. The next thing to check is does it make a sound when you plug it in? So I'm going to plug in something here and I'm, I'm inside my virtual machine right now. Hear that? Okay, and it even shows an autoplay. So this, this is showing to me that, that it does actually work. That my device should, should work. It recognized, it's happy. I'm going to close that. The next thing that I would check if that happened or if I got a little warning message because it didn't like something, I would go to the device manager. And I would come look at USB controllers. Now, I don't know why it has to say USB controllers. In my mind, I'm looking for devices, but it happens to be here with a handful of other things. This is the, the piece that I just plugged in, the USB composite device. Now, if it had a yellow triangle here or some other indicated that there was something wrong, this, this would be the place I'd, I'd find that something that's wrong. And usually it's a driver issue. So I can double click on this and I can see what kind of driver it's got on it right now. This is using a really old driver, but since it's just a USB drive, it's, uh, you know, this, this hasn't changed much in a long time unless you're going to USB 3. So this should be just fine. I could have it update the driver or uninstall and reinstall or disable all, all normal troubleshooting steps if, if things are weird. I cancel out of that. Now, uh, again, I'm in the virtual machine right now, so this is this is all very normal operating system things to check. If I plug it in and it doesn't look like the virtual machine sees it here, and I heard the ding when I plugged it in, it's got a light on, everything seems like it's working from the, the USB devices perspective, I'm going to go up here and go to VM and removable devices and see if it's connected to the virtual machine or not. And in this case, this, this mass storage device, it is connected to the virtual machine. It's got the checkbox next to it. That's how I can tell. And it gives me the option to, to disconnect it from the virtual machine connected to the host. Now, if I were looking at this here, this is another mass storage device. This is not connected to the virtual machine right now, but I could choose to connect it, which disconnects it from the host. So if, if the host is using it, you know, be careful with that. Now, if, if you've checked all of this and everything looks good and you're still having issues, I've only come across this once where I was trying to plug into a PLC that, that, used, uh, that, that used USB for configuration and programming. And th this is the only time I've ever had an issue with USB that wasn't solvable by normal means. I had to use what, uh, what uh, VMware calls a, a USB quirk. There are certain little things that USB does and who knows what they are. But apparently sometimes when virtualized, they can, they can hiccup or they can cause a problem. So I'm going to point you to the website that I, I found the answer on, rather than trying to explain exactly what that website explains. Let me go find that website. So I actually just did a search for VMware USB quirks, and this is what I found. I'm going to click on the first thing that came up, problems using some USB devices in virtual machines. This is part of the VMware knowledge base. And, oh, that's a good thing to mention. By the way, sometimes USB 3 devices don't work on older operating systems just because of driver support, so keep that in mind. I'm going to find the thing here where it talks about quirks. Okay, so you can add a quirk in the way that, that Workstation approaches these virtual USB devices. Or the, these uh, connections with real USB devices, and 
this section right here is what fixed it for me. There's a, a configuration file somewhere in the virtual machine folder and it's just a plain text file and you can add things that look like this. And so I just followed the directions exactly and it, it fixed my issue. So that's the only issue that was that was weird ever and I've been using virtual machines for years and connected all sorts of automation hardware. So hopefully you never see that, but if you do, now you have a way to, to solve it. Oh, as a side note, if you are using USB 3 device and you need to connect it to an older virtual machine that doesn't have the driver support for it, something like an old Windows XP, something that's that's officially not supported anymore, you can actually just connect that to your host. If, if it's a storage device, you can connect it to your host and use a shared folder to still get access to that drive. And that's what I do. So uh, very, very simple, very easy workaround for it. That being said, that's all I have for USB troubleshooting. This is really just a, a super easy standard to use. I, I don't anticipate you'll have any problems with it. Music